stalwart, if you will, Kansas City Chiefs. The Cincinnati Bengals have said, get used to it. They won the division for the first time in a while. Well, then they won a playoff game for the first time in 31 years. Then they won a road playoff game for the first time in club's history after going 0 for 7. But they're going into Kansas City, who were hosting their fourth straight AFC championship game. The Chiefs coming off arguably as good a playoff game as we've ever seen last week against Buffalo certainly would have more magic and have momentum carrying over at Arrowhead with a sea of red in the stands. But Cincinnati has said Joe Burrow, Joe, well, Joe Montana was Joe Cooper, January Joe. <laughs> and, and there's Patrick Mahomes. What could he do after last week's duel with Josh Allen? Well, opening in the first half, how about that? The throw and the catch Mahomes to Tyree Kill. You know, it was ridiculous. This throw right here, he put it only where his receiver could catch it. Anything slightly behind could have been batted down and maybe intercepted, but he knew that. So nothing has changed from a week ago or even the week before that. Mahomes to meet Cole Harbin at 7-3, 44-yard gain. And then, same drive, second quarter. Mahomes, okay, we hit Tyreek Hill. Whoop. Now we're going to do what? We're going to hit Travis Kelsey. So the route is on. Yeah, that's playground football at its finest boom. Look at everybody's dancing. Wiggle with it, Patrick. Wiggle with it. 14-3. Now, Mahomes, Kelsey, inside the 10, inside the 5. Very next play. They're using everybody. Mahomes, Hardman, it's 21-3. to It's going to be a laugher. Doors is open. A little misdirection for the touchdown. But the Bengals go, wait a minute. Final two minutes of the half. Burrow to... I mean, P. Ryan, and P. Ryan makes it 41 yards. Brian Callahan, offensive coordinator up there. Hey, we're in it. 21 to 10. Next drive, Chiefs. Andy Reid still have momentum. Mahomes, Hill, Mimi. There goes the road runner. <laughs> 33 yards. 20 seconds to go. Second and one. Once you pop, you cannot stop. Byron Pringle. Oh, those chips taste so good. Tackle is the 15. <laughs> 15 seconds to go. Mahomes trying to go up 28 10, but then, oh, Eli Apple going to be flagged. And yeah, oh. he's he's a very handsy cornerback, Keyshawn. He keeps his hands out and he gets a lot of penalties. Got to know the position. So, you're first to goal with nine to go. Incomplete. Now, do you kick the field goal or? You, you, you take the three, boom. You, you, get, you take the three. They got a little greedy and it didn't pay off. Well, they figure Tyree can. No! There's Apple to make the stop there and. Forget the momentum. Even if you call the play as a quarterback, a veteran guy like Patrick Mahomes, you have to know you cannot throw the ball anywhere except in the end zone. So in the end, if they don't get anything at 21-10, they get the ball for the third quarter, but could have been 24-10, and now all of a sudden, 21-13 field goal. Oh, no! The big fella, and I mean big, B.J. Hill with the pick. It's the best athletes on the field, boom. Uh, you got anybody over 300, we are the best you athletes. You told me. And Mahomes says it's on me. Well, it is. The yeah, pass only went about three yards. <laughs> Burrow now smelling it to Jamar Chase. They did overall a pretty good job on Chase. They did, but when it counted most, he delivered and came through big for him. Yep, third and three. And there, you, as he delivered right there, it's a touchdown. It's now a two-point game. They're going to go for two. Burrow, Trent Taylor. We're tied at 21 just like that. Yeah, we're going for it for two, making the game even right then and there, putting the pressure on Kansas City. So, third and six, Kansas City Mahomes, Trey Hendrickson, number 91. Here they come. He and Hubbard bringing the heat for them. And then, next drive, Bengal. Burrow. Chris Jones <laughs> has two cracks at him. A Burrow looking like Mahomes and Josh Allen last week. Boom, how many quarterbacks in the NFL go down right there? Not that one time. What about this time right here? Joe Burrow, cool, calm, and athletic. Boom, getting out of there. Three plays later on third and seven again. Burrow, he smells it. Chiefs had him hemmed in. Ingram and company, but no, it's a first down. Burrow running. Now first and five after five yard penalty. T. Higgins. T. He. It's a 16 yard <laughs> pickup. And then automatic. Almost, you know, 52 yards. What was he like? 11 of 13 this year. Evan McPherson, the rookie. It's the one that didn't go down the middle, but it went in. Who cares? 52 yards. Bengals? 
have the lead 24 21. But certainly the Chiefs are coming back. Here's Mahomes, Kelsey inside the 40. First down. Free access again to a tight end wide open that bull. Shot. That chat's like junior high, like soccer, sitting on the on the Gatorade or the orange crate with Burrow. Mahomes, Sam Hubbard. Mahomes didn't feel it. Yeah, if you're Mahomes, you got to give rid of that football. Now third and goal nine. Mahomes, remember they were in with deep. And now it's Hubbard. It's a fumble. Chief Joe Tooney on the ball falls on it. Bad plays down the stretch before the half and then again in the fourth quarter by Patrick Mahomes. Two straight sacks. You can't win football games doing that, boom. They were at the five. With the, you know, but they were at the five. Ends up being a 44-yard field goal by Butker. And now, last week, Bills went heads and went the other way. The coin, excuse me, this is heads for the Bengals. It lands on tails. Always go tails, boom. You know that. Well, it, 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 last week, it was the other way. Ow! Oh, no! Eli Apple oh. almost picked it up. Look at Zach Taylor. Oh, no! Next play, third and ten. They get it this time. Deflected, intercepted by Vaughn Bell. Bates made the play back there. Yeah, really good play by Bates there. Coming through, tipping that football, and those two safeties made the play, but uncharacteristic of Mahomes in the double cover. Oh, it just it was like a different guy, and now Burrow to Higgins at the first down. Uh oh, with McPherson, this is trouble for the Chiefs. Second at 325, Joe Mixon. Mixon, match. We're down to. 13, it's a 13 yard game. Positioning right in the middle. McPherson kicking on third down, a short one. Chief fans saw a 21 3 go to the Bengals. 27 24. The Cincinnati Bengals. Not many gave them a shot. The Bengals, after all they've been through, are going to the Super Bowl for the first time since 1988. Overtime since he goes into Kansas City and wins. Kimberly Martin with January Joe Burrow. <laughs> we're not worried about what happened in the past. We're worried about right now. And right now we're going to the Super Bowl. We're a really good team. And we're, we're looking to win it. You said we belong here. We're not the underdog, right? Today proved it? I think that proved it. We beat. In my opinion, the second best team in the AFC. We beat them twice in January. I don't think if, if I don't, I think if we didn't prove it today, I don't know how, how else you prove it. Can you take us through that last play of the first half? Uh, what, what happened there? What you were thinking? And Brad, I'll have a second question as well. Yeah, we had just we had just ran a play. Uh, it took four seconds to play before um, where I burned it. So I knew that the time um, was low. Obviously, I knew we needed to get points. Uh, we called a play that we were trying to get someone over the middle quick. Um, and then I was probably I was supposed to throw the ball away. Uh, I got greedy. I got a little greedy there and try to give the Tyreek and get a touchdown. They had two people out there, um, so uh, definitely. I mean, in the long run of things, uh, it looks bad. But uh, I, if we had another chance, I'd, I would have went for another play again. Yeah. So I was, I, you know, I was hoping we could get get the ball in the end zone. I probably gave him the wrong play first of all. So uh, to start with, I could have given him something better than that, um, where the play was open in the end zone and. Um, and then we wouldn't have to go through that, but it's, um, uh, I'll, I'll take responsibility for that one out. It's exciting to hear, man. You know, you don't really get the opportunity to say you going to the Super Bowl. So, you know, I'm in this position with a great team right now. You know, we just, it's just our first time together. You know, we're still building. So, you know, I, I'm just excited. I, I'm speechless right now. I don't even know what to say. I, I don't really think it's set in to be honest with you, Paul. You know, it was, it was such an incredible moment. Um, you, you're really just looking down on all the players and coaches and uh, just the, the joy on their faces. And um, it, it's a moment you'll never be able to replicate. You know, we, we may get to do this again. Hopefully that, that's the plan, certainly. But um, I don't know that it'll ever be as special as the moment we just had right there. It's, it's pretty cool to be a part of. And we've been down for years. And we stayed down. And now we're going to come up. We're on to the Super Bowl. And like I said, man, who they, who they, who they? I tell you, Houday, Houday in the record books and championship game comeback. Booger on the 2006 Colts, who trailed 21 to 3. Vinatieri kicked the field yeah, goal at the end of the half. How about that, huh? Came back to beat the <laughs> Patriots. The Bengals down 21 3, same score. So that's the lucky thing. And the Niners in 2012 in Atlanta. The Seahawks against the Packers. So all 
there you go in this quote. Um, in this, how do you think Cincinnati felt watching all this? We've seen the game balls from Coach Zach Taylor and the players go to the fans in the bars. This is all over the Queen City. <laughs> Do they indeed? I mean, look, it's over. They won. That's good to see. As, you know what? And here's a fan base that's been so downtrodden. The team's yeah. been so, so downtrodden. So congratulations to them. They played with a confidence. I mean, each week in these playoff games, like, get used to it. Not, you know, boasting, but no, this is us. They're young, and we should get used to it because Joe Burrow, and starting with him, changed the culture, and they all follow. Well, even before we get to Joe Burrow, you got to give a shout-out to Zach Taylor. Yes. 5, 26, and 1. That's mm -hmm. his first two years. Yeah. And now we're on the way to the Super Bowl. So the, the, the confidence starts at the yes, top you're right. with the head Very coach. Fair. And then it permeates through the quarterback, Joe Burrow. Boom. Oftentimes, there's a thin line between arrogance and confidence, mm -hmm. and he walks it as good as anyone in football. The way he plays, the way he talks, and when the ball is in his hands, Key, you understand, everybody on that team has confidence that Joe is going to go make a play, and on the crucial downs, in the red zone, when the chip's on the table, Joe Burrow is at his best time and time again. The great thing about it, Boom and, and Booger, is when you think about big-time college football players and you look at the makeup of the skill position players for them, Joe Mixon, Oklahoma, big-time college yes, football. Yes. LSU, we know Chase and Burrow. Mm. T. Higgins championships at Clemson. When you start to look at those sort of things, there's no panic that's set in. Yes. We're used to playing in an, in an environment that's hostile. And so you see that happening to them. When Joe Burrow's chased by Chris Jones, what does he do? He gets out of the way. Yep. Chased again by Chris Jones, what does he do? Head and eyes downfield, scrambling enough to get the first down because there's no panic there. Mm -hmm. And I think that's how you build football teams. You build football teams with character and guys that are not going to panic because they've been there before in big-time programs. I want to discuss the end of the half, but let, let me go a little more Bengals here because we all saw, and they won last week, obviously, but Joe Burrow got sacked nine times. Yes. And everyone knows the, the offensive line, and we, and we know he got hurt the year mm -hmm. before. How did they shore it up so that the Chiefs, who have Jones, who have uh, Frank Clark, who have Melvin Ingram, and, and, and send guys every now and then. How did they not get home? But conversely, Cincinnati did. Sometimes, boom, you don't have to short up. You can just mask it up, okay? Remember the first play they scored on it was 21-3, screen pass. Yes. So I'm going to let the rush come, and I'm going to throw the screen. They mm -hmm. threw several screen passes. Joe Burrow, you can't hold the ball as long as you did against Tennessee. Right. The ball has got to come out. So the adjustment was really simple. More, screen, more screens, and we're going to get the ball out of our quarterback's hands quicker and allow him to make plays. And, Joe... Never forget, your legs are a weapon also, and you can run the football. So the combination of all that minimize a porous offensive line. And they should – look, I'm going to switch it back to the Kansas City Chiefs. They well, didn't apply there. enough pressure. Boom, if you go back to the end of that half, they take those three points. We're looking at a 24-10 to 10 game. Now, all of a sudden, Cincinnati's going into the locker room knowing Kansas City's getting the ball coming out of the half. Imagine their mindset and where they're at. Instead, they don't put any points on the board. The first thing I'm thinking as a defensive team in Cincinnati, oh, we're still in it. 24 to 10, you start to go, two dang, scores. two yes. scores. Yeah. They're getting the ball again. Yeah. Kansas City helped them out. You cannot do that. And I know Big Red Andy Reid wanted to call a different play. He wanted to put points on the board. They got greedy. Mm. Take the points. That's all you need to he do. Would, he would Second take guessing. Back he would certainly do it all over again. I, I think. Now, we should bring out, and I'm sure they did during the game, but regular season, which was only a few weeks ago, yeah. Kansas City led 28-14 to 14 before being outscored 20-3 to 3 and losing the game. This game, they led 21-3 to 3 before being outscored 24-3. to 3. So, look, Mahomes Patrick Jeez. did not look like him. No. But this is the same game. It's not like, ooh, it was a bad game. It was like two different weeks in the half. It, it, you know what happened? When you go into the first half and you look at him running around and throwing the football, taking chances, he tried to duplicate that in the second half. The only difference is he left the first half Patrick Mahomes in the locker yeah. room when he came out the second half and it didn't work for him. And, and if you look at Mahomes in the first half, 
he made a lot of plays with his legs yes, running the football. That's mm-hmm. correct. And in the second half, he started running the other way. He was running behind the line of scrimmage instead of taking the four and five yard gains. He was almost reverting back to Mahomes earlier in the season, weeks one through six or seven. I'm going to make every big play down the field. Instead of using your God given athletic ability, get the four or five yards. He's running around behind like Johnny Manziel. And from the end of the first half, until the end of the game, I have never seen Patrick Mahomes play as bad. He was bad from right. the end of the first half through the rest of the game. Boom, look at this here. In the second half and overtime, 8 for 18 for 55 yards and two interceptions. Another that guy. is Patrick Mahomes. It's the first time I've ever heard Patrick Mahomes and Johnny Manziel <laughs> in the same set. I mean, boom, they're running around back. <laughs> Come on. Well, it was, it was shocking. <laughs> now, give Bengals all credit, right? But... It was uh, it was God. someone else. Who would like you rather have, me. Johnny Menzel yeah. or Patrick Mahomes? I mean, look, we, we all know that. We, we, we got more on both. We're going to hear from Matthew Stafford.